Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be doing part 2 of my top Korean favorite lipsticks. The first one I did was the new D1 and I just want to give um, you guys an apology for not um, putting the you know close up swatches because I thought that um, you know, I have done so many of these swatches already. I've already done reviews on all of them. I thought that if I just do like a brief description was good enough. But it seems like a lot of you guys really wanted like a close up of each particular shade. So I will be doing on this video as well. So I will do like a close up for all of it as well as the next few um, edition of this um, top korean lipsticks so this edition i will be doing like a pink and mauve edition i decided to combine this two because depending on the view the way you guys view it and the way i view you know pink and mauve shades it might be different so i thought you know just combine it together so you guys can see what my favorites are it was really hard to like just choose you know the ones that i really really tend to go for and the one i really like so yeah i have seven lipsticks here so let's get started so the first one i actually i remember i put this in like um my favorite korean lipsticks for 2017 and this one is the newer version and this one is the cleo i think root here as well in number 10 good mauve so obviously you know it is a mauve shade and i really love this one because it is sort of like a nudie shade but at the same time it's you know mauve you get that pink undertone so i will just swatch here but don't worry i'll give you guys a close-up as well which you guys will see soon but can you see how smooth and buttery this is the way it just glide onto my arm it's just beautiful and i love the undertones where it's very warm it's just very mauve like it's like the perfect mauve shade without it being too bright or too like dark it's this perfect warm mauve shade that's all i can say now next i know i just did a review on this but i really have to add this in my top favorite bbia i love a lot of their colors but it's been a while since i last like you know used them so when i did a review on this i was like oh my gosh where have you been and this is in number 18 this one again leaves a bit of that brown undertone but it's such a oh no i crack it <gasps> sorry i'll fix it i'll fix it anyway as i said this one you can see it has that brown undertone but it definitely does have that mauve shade as well depending on your lips preference like for me i noticed with this particular shade at night it looks very pinky but like at you know daytime you can see that brown shade more but i really want to put this in this category because i really really like the whole collection of this and i like this shade as well but yeah definitely watch my video on that if you want to see the other colors because they are all very beautiful as well this one i have to add this this is the petty peta ink velvet i can't remember um which collect i think this is the pink moment collection but this is in number 20 i think and it's such a beautiful pinkish purpley shade and like the way it applies onto your lip it is so like smooth as well like obviously it doesn't it's not as defined as like this particular shade right here which i'll mention later but it still gives you that beautiful pigment as well on your lips and obviously it is it lasts for about five hours and i just for me, I actually like the scent, it's like a flory scent, but I know some people that don't like scent may not like this one, but I really, really like this a lot. It is such a beautiful pinky purpley shade. Beautiful, beautiful color. Next, this is Cleo Matte Matte. So it turns out with this particular matte matte, this is actually like the new packaging of their old Cleo Matte Matte. A few of you guys have actually asked me to review them, but I realized that I actually reviewed some of it already, but I do want to review the new colors as well. But I really want to put this in this um, video again. I'm pretty sure I've added it in my Korean favorite lipsticks in 2017. But again, this is gonna be my favorite again, and this is in number five. It's such a beautiful mauve shade. But at the same time, it is not too like in your face, you know. Um, it is very, very beautiful. When you apply it, it somehow 
tend to just like blend in with your skin color so for me i feel like this particular shade is like my lips but better um color shade it's just very very beautiful however if you want it to be much more opaque and way way more pigmented i would recommend the cleo matte matte the liquid version and this one is in the shade number four which i feel like is very very similar to this lipstick right here but it is much more of like a pinkier shade like a pinky undertone and again this one have very very heavy scent so if you don't like heavy scented stuff i would stay away from this however i really really like this the only downside to this is that it can be quite watery so a little goes a long way for this when you do apply on your lips so just be careful but you can see this is much more pinkier than the lipstick but it's very very similar so yeah i love this both come on the packaging is just how cute is this but this is the face shop gelato tint so obviously this is a tint and this one is a pink shade like a very bright fluorescent pink so i'm just gonna add it right here so this is how it looks like right here and this one obviously is a fluorescent pink definitely not a mauvey shade and when you do remove it it does give you like a pink tint as well a lot of this up here don't really give you like a um, tint on your lips when you remove it even the ink velvet is not so bad as well but this one does give you quite a bright tint so my jade just glide all the way to the top and slide down but oops it's okay the last one is this etude house matte shake lip liquor now this one i had so much trouble picking up just one of my favorite like pink slash mauvey shade because in this collection i'm not sure if you guys have watched it um there were so many colors that i love and there were so many like quite similar shades that i love as well but i have to pick this color right here and this one is pk004 romance rose which is what i'm wearing right now it's such like when i every time i apply this i'm like oh yeah this is what i want to wear right now i'm like oh yeah this is what i like this shade just oh i can't even like it. It just gives like just makes me speechless every time I put this on. That's all I can say. So let's just put the swatch here. So it's like a it's like a perfect pink mauvey shade. That's all I can say for this. And the best thing about this, it lasts for so long on your lips. It is waterproof, it's kiss proof, it's just everything. When I did a review uh, on this collection in my channel. Like, I put it under the water, I couldn't remove any of the swatches because that's how strong it was, but love it so much. So yeah, so these are all of my favorite pink and mauvey shade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. And yeah, stay tuned for, I think I have maybe three. So I have red, I have purple, and I have orange. So I have three more of this particular video coming out soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please tell me what your favorite pink and mauve shade lipsticks are in the comment box down below because I really want to know. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!